Aloha YouTube, this is your boy Crypto Roots and I'm back at it again with Mo Crypto Game. If you want to learn more about cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, decentralized finance, and smart contracts, hit me up for the Crypto Roots Mentorship. If you want a, uh, a decentralized website, domain, and hosting, I got you. If you need the Ethereum domain for your wallet, I got you. If you need a multi-sig for your family or business account, I got you. Email me at CryptoRoots at ProtonMail.com. All right, people. So, smart contracts are the future. They, they are already dominating the game. All decentralized exchanges operate on smart contracts. All decentralized applications run on smart contracts. All right? If you know about smart contracts, you are ahead of the game. All right? If you level up your skill and learn how to program smart contracts, you are one of the most valued uh, assets and skills available on the market. Right? Top dollar is being paid to blockchain developers and Solidity uh, smart contract engineers. So I want to show you how lucrative it, lucrative it is to actually level up and learn smart contracts. So uh, yesterday I was on uh, crypto Twitter and then I was following this guy and he's like hiring Solidity Viper developers who I'll pay in uni. And I looked and he had 14,000 uni. And it was around $68,000. And I'm like, damn, I know he didn't pay for that. I know that that's free money. So how did this guy get that much free money? That's what I was curious about, right? So if we go, he made another post, another brilliant finding from the Yearn Discord. Andre deploys a lot of contracts and most of them use Uniswap. Nightman has found that 50 plus contracts are eligible for a Uniswap airdrop. I pulled the data and wrote a multi-claim contract and claimed everything one, one transaction, all right? And then he breaks down the game, right? So is there any interesting, is there anyone interested in recovering the uni airdrops from various urine contracts? I've identified at least 25 eligible contracts, likely more out there, where the uni can be covered, uh, recovered to the urine develop, uh, deployer. At current valuations, that's 50K plus. Then he edited it. He said, it's 56 contracts are eligible, most which have a way, uh, have a way of recovering tokens. That's 110K plus at today's valuation. So what, I'm saying, what they're saying is that Andre, the one who created Uniswap, used a bunch of different addresses to make exchanges. And they're all eligible for the Uniswap. But he hasn't claimed them, and anybody can go and claim them. So if you know how to claim them, the money is yours, essentially, right? You know, some people may still give it to Andre, but that's up to them, right? So this dude says, you know what? I got this, right? He says, I think this can be checked automatically. I can give you a list of contracts Andre has deployed. It would be trivial to check if they have tokens outstanding, but not so trivial to check if they can claim them. Maybe identify a few common withdrawal patterns in the contracts and try in a ganache fork uh, to not check by hand. So, and he shows you the code that he, he can do it with, right? And then he looks up the Merkle trees and whatnot, right? And then so he says his script found 53 eligible addresses. 53, right? Times 400 uni. Right. He, he goes and it shows the uh, the smart contract, the solidity contract. Right. Um, the interface uh, that talks to another contract. The whole contract is called multi claim. It has a struct with some unsigned integers an address and other unsigned integers and an array. Right. Of the proof. And then the distributor equals the that hash address. And the function is a simple multi claim function with the for loop. All right. Right, so very simple smart contract, and that's all it took. And this dude, look at it like he racked it in. Each transaction was $1,944. All of them, you see that shit? It's crazy. All right here, and he only spent less than $100 in gas and collected $68,000, bro. I'm telling you, this shit is so lucrative, you know. So, um now, here, here's just some GitHub repos of aggregated flash loans. Um, it really can't get much simpler than this, right? These are people who wrote, pretty much wrote the program, and they pretty much tell you how the pro... This is a working truffle project you can build upon which draws on flash liquidity from multiple flash lenders with a single transaction. 
This template uses the collateral protocol, which handles the aggregation of liquidity from multiple flash loan and ended enabled pools such as DYDX and Aave. Please note this template assumes prior experience with Truffle development slash deployment dot EMV usage and fair endpoints ETC. If you're not familiar, I highly recommend undertaking a corresponding tutorial beforehand as most of the areas you encounter can be resolved with prior study. And they go and they tell you how to install it, right? It's up to you what you would do with it, but it really can't get any more simpler with, than this. Really, right? And... um. And then here's another flash loan arbitrage trader. This is a simple working example of a flash loan arbitrage smart contract where within a single transaction, it instantly borrows a certain asset, ETH in this example, from Aave lending pools with zero collateral, calls Uniswap version 2 router 0 to, to wrap the flash liquidity of ETH into wrapped ETH and exchange it for DAI token. Checks the exchange rate of DAI back into the ETH of Uniswap version 1, calls Uniswap version 1 router, router 2 to swap the DAI back into the wrapped ETH and then to ETH. There's also an independent function to withdraw all ETH to ERC-20 tokens, the contract. So yes, I'm telling you, this goes deep, but this is as simple as they can make it. And they're showing you the example of how to use it through Remix and the different routers and different smart contracts and different functions to call. Yes, it is a lot. Yes, it is a lot. You need to hit me up for the mentorship and I'm going to start teaching people how to program smart contracts, how to read these smart contracts, you know, because this, this is a smart contract. You're importing different smart contracts. You got different uh, safe math contracts, different functions, different constructors, and it's a lot to go over. But I'm getting better and better every day at reading this. And also ZZZ Finance invited me to uh, work with them on the development team. So that's why I'm really going hard with the smart contracts because now I'm the I'm, I'm the new guy in in the chat. So I got to really show these people, show the developers that I'm serious about it, right? And then if you're going to be doing anything as far as decentralized exchanges, you better know how Uniswap works, right? And the Uniswap router and the different um different ways to transfer and add liquidity to different pools and yeah, like this is it goes deep. And not just that, you better understand flash loans. You got to go dive deep into the Ave protocol and uh and just show just just to understand what you're dealing with cuz you're going to be borrowing from Ave and then exchanging it on Uniswap most likely. Also, you're going to need to know Node.js, right? The JavaScript backend for the server, right? Because you're not going to be running this uh, for the most part, yeah, you're going to have a bot that does all this. And um, you better have a, a Node.js server. You better know Ethereum because you either either that, uh, I mean, Infura, how to use Infura and, and, and to add on to your Node.js server, right? That uh, takes your flash loan from um, Aave and does it from Uni. So these are all blocks and they all have their own purpose. This is an Ethereum API. So you don't have to download the blockchain. It, it sets up an, a free API for you, right? And depending on how much you use it, uh, it's, it's free. But if you use it a lot, it's more. You got to pay it. So you got to have an inferior node set up. And then you can do most of this from Remix, which is an online smart contract editor. Okay? And here's, here's an example of a smart contract. Right? So you can do it most of the editing. This is like an online uh, IDE, an integrated development environment for Solidity and smart contracts. Uh, you better know about Shuffle, I mean Truffle, if you're going to be really doing some serious shit because this is a, a pretty much a framework for smart contracts. So you definitely, definitely, definitely have to know Truffle, right? And you got to know Ganache, which is like a, a pretend blockchain. So here's uh, my running version of Ganache. So it's like a fake blockchain that you can use in test and that's connected to a server and that you have all this fake Ethereum. But this is crucial when it comes to testing your smart contracts. And as far as Web3, this is pretty much MetaMask. MetaMask, uh, this is it. Knowing Web3, getting different accounts, getting the Ether accounts, converting way to ETH, ETH the way. Um, this is all MetaMask, pretty much. MetaMask just does, has a nice graphical user, uh, user interface, but this is what Web3, and you got to go deep into Web3 if you are going to be a blockchain developer. This is a, a, a lot to dive into. You could just be a Web3 developer itself. And not just that, you need to know Solidity. You absolutely have, you can't, you got to write some, either Viper or Solidity, but Solidity's got much more um, uh, game, much much more uh, applications out there written in, written in Solidity. 
So in order to know that, you kind of have to know Python and JavaScript. So you definitely got to know JavaScript to know Solidity. You got to know JavaScript to know Node.js. Some real shit. And then you got these developers, uh, such as this uh, young woman, who, sh who sh pretty much show you the game. Like, you know, just grateful that she's able to share with us. Flash loan 10K from Dai, from Ave, swap to CRV of, on one inch with uh, the stable coins, removing CRV liquidity on curve back in a Dai, repay Dai flash loan, walk away with this much Dai, profit $172. That's in 15 seconds she made that, right? A few successful flash loan arbitrages this month. Snapshot taken for your ease of execution. Average gas fee per ARB was $90. Where the ARB failed, typically due to slippage, unable to play, replay flash loans. It ate about $30 to $50 in gas, so don't blindly execute without due diligence. More games showing you different, another different flash loan. Flash loan from 50K USDC from Ave swap with CRV on one inch, remove liquidity on curve USDC, repay USDC loan, walk away $128. Uh, dollars and 15 seconds right more and more gain and that just goes to show you like there's so much opportunity with no one smart contracts not only can you just make automated bots pretty much money bots uh you can also create decentralized applications that bring in uh hella profit millions of dollars of profit you know and then you can also teach people you can write your own smart contracts it's, it, the game is deep and it, it's worth it it's definitely worth it to to learn to learn how to program and to program smart contracts because that's one of the most valuable skill sets in the market right now. One of the most valuable, highest paid skill sets is being a blockchain developer and every single company, every single lawyer, everybody will be moving to the blockchain. And if you know how to write smart contracts, you will be one of the most valuable people on planet Earth. So hit me up for the uh, Crypto Roots Mentorship. I go hard. I'm going even harder. I'm learning. I'm learning and I'm teaching and I'm teaching and I'm learning. And I enjoy it. This is my life. Take it easy. Peace.